Uh, this will be the first and hopefully a series of some tutorials that I'll be doing just to show how I achieve some of the um, ways that my effects work and how some of the other pros do it as well. Uh, to try to help some of you creators out there who are just starting and um, or maybe not just starting but just haven't quite uh, gotten to this uh, level of what um, these effects require uh, to do this kind of stuff. So uh, this is an effect that I actually have paused right now. Um, it's called a USB head as you can see up here at the top. That's not the final name. Uh, there's some animations that go on. So this is all it's actually just kind of paused uh, waiting for this USB to be plugged into my forehead so that I can have some sparks and some stuff going on with my eyes. Uh, so that's why my eyes are all white. Um, so while we're paused uh, what I want to do is talk a little bit about occlusion. So occlusion is a method of basically masking things out uh, in order to hide them. So if you think about the way that uh, virtual sunglasses sit on your face, when I turn my head left and right, um, I have these arms of the sunglasses. And if I don't use occlusion, those arms are going to be visible as I turn my head left and right. Um, the reason for that is because there's nothing telling the 3D model that my head is actually there. It's just that the model is kind of sitting in space and it's being tracked to my head, but it doesn't know to hide behind my head and it doesn't know what to hide. So you use things called occlusion uh, to basically hide these things. So occlusion basically, if you think about it, is just a way to put something in between you and the model to hide it. So we're going to break this down as to how I'm doing it here. So this is a technique uh, that I use to basically put this hole in my head. So as you can see, and we zoom in here um, on some of these uh, effects, you can see, uh, whoa, really, really close. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit out here. There we go. So you can see that there's actually a, a USB port that's embedded in my forehead. And as I move around, you can actually see into my forehead a little bit. So it's only about an inch deep. Um, but this same method can be used for any hole. So this hole actually goes from the front of my head all the way to the back of my head. Um, and I can put anything I want to in this little circle right here. So if I wanted to put a pass through and make it look like I had a hole in my head and put the background behind it, I could do that with this effect. Uh, you might see something similar to that. And um, there's a creator named Mark Wakefield who has an effect called hole in the head. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, that guy is incredible. And uh, he uses a very similar technique of occlusion that this is using as well. So let's get into it. So part of it is understanding what occlusion is. So we kind of already discussed a little bit about hiding 3D models. So what does that exactly mean? So if you look at my 3D models I have, I actually have two of them. And you can see them listed over here. This is USB port and this is the USB flash drive. So I can control these any way I want to. I can move them backwards and forwards. I can actually go forward and plug this guy in if I want to. Twink. Um, or we'll just pull them back so we can actually see what's going on. So this USB port, this is really what I want to focus on. This model is actually, if I back up far enough and I tilt and I turn the other way, you can actually see that this is what is commonly known as a car charger. So you can see that this part here is what plugs into your uh, cigarette lighter or your power adapter as they've started calling them after the 90s. Um, and uh, at that point you can charge anything you want to on USB. So that's what this 3D model is. But I don't want this whole thing to show in my head. So just to give you an example of what this looks like without occlusion, we're going to go over here and we're going to disable the occluder that I've created. And you can see it right there. So you can see it down on this guy here I can see that model just hanging in my head. So that means if I want to put a 3D model in my head and actually make it realistic and make it look like it's embedded, it's not as easy as it looks. So it ends up looking like this and it looks like the model is on your forehead, but it's also not hiding the way it should be because it doesn't know that my forehead is here to actually hide it behind. So how do I do that? Well, you might be able to notice this pink line here. If I back up, there's actually a big square around my head. You can see me rocking back and forth here. That square is actually just a regular plane. So I basically just go up here and I just insert a regular plane under my face tracker and I can track it to my face. So if I were to take this whole occluder and then change the material to something else like this um, and then make it visible, then you would see um, what this looks like. So this is actually just a big square that sits in front of my face and sits right there. So anything hidden, anything behind this square that's a 3D model will be hidden. Not my face, of course, but everything else. So how do I make that happen? Well, this is how. As you see, I already have a mat here, a material here called occluder mat, and you can see once I select it, that model is hidden. How? Here we go. If 
you go down here and you look at the actual image that I'm using for the material, you'll notice that it is a PNG, and I'm gonna zoom in down here in the corner, and you can see this little dot that's right at the right where my mouse pointer is. This dot is located at the center of the PNG. So if I zoom out, you'll see that it's actually located directly in the center. So if you think about this, on this square, that dot is located dead center right here, right where this thing is. So what I want everything to do that is not where this dot is, is hide. And where I want this dot to be, I want it not to hide. That way I can see into the model. So where it's not hidden, I can see the port. Where it is hidden, I don't see the rest of that charger hanging out the back. Make sense? So how do I do that? Well, pretty easy. So we just take our plane and we just apply this material to it. Again, a clue to that. So what does this material look like? So let's go ahead and take a look. Again, that's a pretty much standard material. Uh, there's a diffuse texture of white. It has, a, it has an opacity of 1%, which is very important when you're doing occlusion. You don't want it to set it to zero. Always set it to 1%. And then it has this alpha. So this is how I'm doing it all. I basically set an alpha channel on here. And I use my image, which is called occluder, which is that little dot. So that is what my big square is. I got this big square, and it's got this little white dot in the center. The problem is that when I regularly do it, it's inverted. So that means that everything is the exact opposite of the way I want it to look. So you can see that model is still hanging out there. The way to achieve that is to click this little checkbox here, and that will invert my alpha and make everything that is hidden visible and everything that's visible hidden. So it swaps. So now I have this little white dot that I can place wherever I want to, and it will hide things. It will hide everything I want it to. So what you can do is take all kinds of things and put it where, these, where this dot is. You can make this dot as big as you want. You can make it any shape that you want. You could make it a letter and make it to where I have a letter sticking out of my forehead. There's all kinds of ways to do this. So this is a very similar way that somebody like Mark uh, or me or, or other people who have done occlusion with, with, uh, with 3D models um, are able to take these models, embed them in what looks like your head, and, uh, and add a layer of depth to them to where when you get close enough and you zoom in and you're actually looking at things, there actually is some depth there, as you can see. So people can take their time and they can examine these and they can get nice and close to them, get inside of the USB, and, and get an idea of, uh, of, of the realism. And that really does sell it. So instead of putting some sort of a thing here that fakes it or putting a plane back there or having it stick out of my head far enough to where that port isn't there, um, these are all options I played with back in the beginning, but um, obviously I wanted to do it the right way. So, so that's it. That's the way occlusion works. Uh, that's the way occlusion works for this effect. Uh, there's multiple times of, types of occlusion. You can put occlusion on 3D models themselves. You can put them on uh, heads of 3D models. You can hide arms and sunglasses behind them. There's a lot of different things you can do with occlusion, but this is just kind of an introductory course into how you can put a hole in your head and how you can put a 3D model inside of it. That's it. That's the whole technique. So all you really need is just a PNG with a dot. A PNG with a dot. That's it. Hopefully all that makes sense. I plan to do a lot more of these as I make more effects uh, and maybe go back and go through some of the old effects I've done just to show how things like material switching are done. Um, I really, really appreciate everybody following me. And um, thanks again for all your time, all your support, all your effort. Um, Again, if you want to follow me, I'm at Luke Hurd. Uh, you can get all of my effects in your camera. They come automatically come pre-done pre in your carousel when you follow me, or you can go to my bio and load them one by one um, and, and use them that way. Uh, I build all these for fun, and I build them for the creator community at large uh, for the most part. I build them all for myself. Uh, so again, uh, thank you for all of your support, and thank you for, uh, for taking the time to watch this. Thanks, guys.